Port Arthur. Look at that view. What a beautiful day. Please be like this when we go on the Three Capes. It was so windy and rainy we couldn't put the washing outside. It's like we're sleeping in a laundry mat. We got here today because she said there's more people coming in today. Mm. So lucky we got here yesterday. Mm. We might have ended up down in a shady spot down there somewhere. Well, all the sites are pretty good though, aren't they? But yeah, it's just whether you get good sunlight. We had the choice of over here, but it's supposed to be shady till about midday. There's quite good flat sites over there. Nice property. Beautiful property. Let's get ready and go on the tour. And let's maybe go on a boat harbour tour, babe. Yeah, let's go on the boat harbour cruise. Let's go. We're in the chapel for the prisoners. So the two guards were was here, the priests were on standing, and then all the prisoners would have their separate sections up there. Wow. It's here my leg. Oh, I've got a pretty big leg. And then they had to get in there, and they just had one section each. Cells. So this is a separate prison for the ones that misbehave in the other prison. So this is the exercise yard. They have to wear cover all over their head and not speak. So they get one hour of exercise. They got one hour of exercise. Watched by a guard and 23 hours in their cell. And they've just walked up and down for an hour. So this is the separate prison where convicts were sent to, sorry, this side where convicts were sent to if they misbehaved. And we haven't seen the rest yet, we've just got here, so. It's a massive place, beautiful gardens. So instead of cutting this limb, look what they've done. They've hitched it up. It's so cool. It's pretty well done. So we are just about to head over and jump on the boat for the harbour cruise, which we get with our Three capes ticket, I believe. Yep. So we're going to take advantage of that on a beautiful day and check out the harbour. A magnificent site here. It's about 100 acres and it's a beautiful area. You couldn't imagine what they went through back in the day. You can bring a picnic and have it over in the park.
insane. We picked the right cruise to go on. What a kitchen. I know it was harsh on the times, but wow. Beautiful grounds. Wow. So you get a you pick a card when you start the tour and you can become one of the important people of Port Arthur. So I was a clergyman and I lived here. Yep. And you probably haunted it. The house is haunted. The house is haunted. That is. we're missing a walk so we're going out to scorpions lookout for kaza because she's a scorpion okay. let's see what the lookouts are okay. oh my god oh short of that window oh wow look at that you can't like we've seen documentaries and YouTubes on this place and until you come here and feel and see it all, it's spectacular. Did you fart again? No. Deny, deny, deny. Your nose is growing. No, I'm in a penitentiary. I'm not telling you the truth. Your nose is growing. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she saw me turn it off. The things I have to put up with. These look like stables. The look, at the, look at the wear on that getting in. I don't know if you can see the. Oh my God. Look at that. There's a floor in there. Oh. How did horses not end up laying on them? Wow. Oh. Stables. Oh, the horse and carriage business. Be careful coming in, eh? Yeah. Listen to the church bells. There's continual work on the buildings here, which is fabulous to restore for us all to enjoy. This is the Soldiers Memorial. through the government cottage. Every, nearly every room has a fireplace. But then when you come out, this is the government gardens. Wow, it's just stunning how they've kept it.
Okay, where are we off to, Mon? Christmas carols at the Port Arthur. We're going back to the Port Arthur ruins this evening under special invitation to sit in the old church and sing Christmas carols. Christmas is very special. That's going to make the Christmas spirit. Yes, yes. It's really going to assist us because we're a long way from home and we haven't, you know, got a home with a Christmas tree in it and all of that. So this is going to make it very, very special. We so we're very. Family dearly. So we've dressed up for it. We've made a bit of an effort, haven't we? We've got our Santa hats and when mum was getting cared for by the nurse Tracy, Tracy made these earrings with mum. So we both got. The earrings got our, on that mum made. Mum's earrings that mum gave them to me. So we got mum we've with got, us. We've got the Christmas spirit, and we got mum with us. So that's nice. Oh, he's made a goodie. What goes oh oh oh? Someone knows. <laughs> Santa walking backwards. <laughs> Fabulous thing to be invited to. Absolutely fantastic. We've just been to the carols at the Port Arthur uh, historic site um, in the in the guts of the old church there, oh and God. there was a number of different singers. And uh, what did you think? It's brought the Christmas spirit on the trip. Yes, as we heard a lot That's of the great. old hymns, the old Christmas songs. And the we? spiritual feeling in that church without a roof. Yeah. And the sun coming up at 8 o'clock at night. Well, not coming up, but coming out. Yes. Because it was overcast. Yes, it and it was in. like a beam of light coming in yes. the church, wasn't yes. it? Yes, yes. Um, can I just say, I've learnt a couple of songs I've never heard of. Like Little Donkey. I've never heard of Little Donkey. Have you? Yes. Never. You never heard Little Donkey? Never heard Little Donkey. I thought donkey. you said that was... Oh, Drummer Boy was taking your favourite Mary one. Taking Mary safely. I've never heard never that heard one. The, you've never heard that one? No. Monique. You've pulled through. Monique. 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 When we, I was in the church, we used to do this big Christmas presentation every year. And somebody had a donkey and they used to bring some poor chick on holding a, a baby on the donkey. Shows you it's the donkey. a church thing then. Yeah. Because I didn't go to church. Yeah. Often. Or they'd have a Mary on there with a big pillow in a dress. Really? And they'd bring it in on the donkey and then the donkey had a heavy load because she was pregnant. Yes. So she, the donkey was carrying two, not just one, two. And Joseph leading along and then in she pops into the stable and whoosh, out comes Jesus and into the manger. The donkey got shoved outside, didn't get any hay that night because normally they eat out of a manger. But it was lovely, yes. really nice. Home. Look at this. The only way it could have been better is if it was totally dark and we all had little candles. Yeah, so. but it doesn't get dark here until 10 o'clock. No, it's midnight before it gets dark. Here's like the Antarctic. So here's our like Christmas tree signal. bringing us home. And there's our little home away from home. Look at that with that backdrop. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely. Bouncing around. It's, oh, there we are. There we go. That's Hi, I'm Karen. Like, come on. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm Karen. I've got to pee. Oh, Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Minnie. And I'm so glad you could come and <laughs> Do I? Because you're going to piss your pants? I will. Okay, right. go. Yeah. Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Monique. And, and we're, we're so glad, glad you could come, come on a journey with us. us. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Run.